Okay, I'm done uh, gathering resources from Alpha Chernikov, and I'm going to head to Zeta Sextantis. Oh, I'm just out of range. But I'm sure the uh, Melon or May will come to my rescue along the way. I suppose I might as well visit some of these other systems while I'm in the area. Maybe I'll encounter some unperverted Vux, which will give me an opportunity to kill something. Yay! Oh! I'm guessing those are Vux. <laughs> Although they look a bit like uh, Klingon D7 cruisers. So I think this is a good time to save. And... Let's go and fight one. There seems to be two of them there. Sort of right on top of each other, so I'll just go... Here. Oh god, there's another. Let's just try to get one. Oh god, there's a... There's, maybe this is their home system. Oh shit! Right. Let's talk to him first. Greetings from Vox, the last word in life form destruction. Hmm. To gain an intimate knowledge of our engines of war, simply place both hands over your yeah. eyes and count to three. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so hostile towards our species? Ugh, you are even uglier than I had thought possible. <laughs> Can't you see you are making me sick? Please, foul creature, turn your head, or better yet, put a sack over it. Fucking Never hell. mind, I have adjusted my display so it is dim enough to be tolerable. In answer to your question, our response is simple. We must attack you because our master is the Urquan wishes Fair so. Now, if you don't mind, stop nodding your head like that. We Vux do not share this <laughs> range of motion, and it appears as though your neck is broken and you are a jabbering corpse. Ugh. <laughs> is there another reason you hate us? Come on, tell me the truth. Do we need another reason? Ah, I understand. You refer to the first human encounter, oh, yeah. the insult. What more can be said? On that day, your species proved its true crass nature. You see... We Vox pride ourselves on our oh, really? open-mindedness, our ability to see beyond even the most bizarre and disgusting face like yours. But that you. insult is so low, so totally reprehensible, that we will never I'm sorry. It. Yes, to be honest, that event pretty much fixed our attitude setting at a or well, What was I it? I suspect we will despise you forever. What <laughs> Uh, what, what if we apologize? Can we talk truth then? Uh, probably not. You see, although we Vox are highly reasonable beings who would never judge our race solely on its uh, appearance, yeah, the man. magnitude of your Captain Rand's insult was such that we will probably never forgive your right. species. Blame a whole species for the actions of one. Typical prejudice. Okay. We seek to learn more about you. Maybe we can see eye to eyes? Look, vomitous alien. If you want to talk to one of our species without making them sick, why don't you go Already see have. Admiral Zex at his world in Alpha Serenkov? He <coughs> likes humans. Yeah. Alright, I'll try anyway. The people of Earth hereby apologize to the rocks. Nope. I didn't think that would be sufficient. It lacked conviction. Sorry, but I'm afraid we'll just have to kill you now. That's what I was going to say. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's give the uh, human cruisers a try. I've not fought the Vux before. Oh god. Oh. And they're quite... quite effective. Looks like... These guys must have short-range weapons, and I can outrun them. Which makes quick work of these poor guys. And finally, a race I can easily defeat. And not only that, but with my standard cruisers. Oh god. Just make sure I keep my distance. I'm sure that when, if these guys manage to catch up with me, they'll make up for that uh, inadequacy. Seem to have a very strong battery there. Yep, 
Captain Fup. You are fucked. Fucked. Yeah. Nice. Oh, they're pretty cheap. But it's... Oh. Yeah, come on then. You want some? Oh. Let's see. Anything else we can Salutations. say Salutations. And may your sense of self-preservation always be so dim. As our intruders surround your vessel, you may care to raise both hands into the air above you and practice the ancient chant of the prancing Awi Master Zen Docks, which begins... Uh... That's a creepy noise. Okay, let's try that again. We, the people of Earth, really, truly apologize for the stupid insult made by Captain Rand. No, that didn't cut it either. Alright, how about this missile in your face? See if that fits in your tongue-sucking tube thing. Oh, get away. Yeah, this is too easy. I'm not... It makes, it's better than too hard, I guess. Or is it? These guys must have been just rubbish. Oh, Look at this. It's pathetic. The only chance they've got is if they warp in too close and I can't get away in time. It's a shame. Uh, oh, oh god. <laughs> That's the other danger, the fucking planet. Um, I wonder what it is that fucks the fucks the Oh god, god, get away! No 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 no! Oh shit! Brilliant. <laughs> I even lost with uh I lost a battle with even even though I had you know, an unbeatable advantage. Still managed to fuck up. Oh god, they're using the slingshot! Oh! Oh, there's things on my ship eating me! Get off! Get off! They're slowing me down! No, 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 no! For fuck's sake! Oh, man. Alright. <laughs> it's still my best shot if I can just fucking keep my distance. Keep away from that planet. They like to use that technique, don't they? There we go. Blimey. I underestimated you. How they did it in the war. Using slingshots to overcome their disadvantage. Although, I wonder how these battles like would actually go if there was uh, more than two things fighting at once. Well, I'm sure it could be simulated in some kind of. Uh, well, just, you know. It'd be interesting if this game was sort of expanded, like. Use the exact same sort of combat, well, um, mechanics, but have a lot of like AI-controlled things ha fighting all at once. Jesus, this has got to be their home world, isn't it? One of these. Maybe if I talk to them at their home world, we'll be able to properly apologise if I can find it. Uh, Tectonics Four, I'm not going to bother. I'm more interested in just finding their home world than trying to steal their minerals from this system. Oh god! I forgot that happened. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight my way through all these guys. This is Vox Commander Yax. <laughs> On behalf of the team here, I would like to say how very much we have all enjoyed taunting you. Yeah. And to congratulate you on plumbing the limits of Vox courtesy, <laughs> which you have now exhausted. Therefore, let me just say die, you two-eyed, lonesome, faceless slug. Faceless. <laughs> you're right. We were wrong. You see it all so clearly now. I don't think your heart is in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Should I try another ship? No. Let's just go with what works sometimes. Oh. Yeah. So. Oh God. 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 No. 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 Okay. So, what is it that Captain Rand did? Can we find out? I don't think that Commander Space Station guy actually told us. 
so it's difficult to apologize if you don't know what you're apologizing for. You know, and it's, well, you can't really. How can you apologize? I'm sorry for the thing, I don't know what I did. I'm sure it wasn't deliberate. I think it's just an excuse, I just don't like us because we're ugly to them. And of course they're ugly to us, but we, we wouldn't care about that, would us? Would, would we? Humans would never be bigoted. No, of course not. Not in science fiction, anyway. The only place humans aren't bigoted, I guess. We like Star Trek. And people say Star Trek is unrealistic, and yes, it is, but that's the point. It's supposed to be potential, not reality. Things could be better. No, 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 what am I doing? No! No! Fuck! Oh, that's so stupid. Alright, let's try the these guys. I'm not going to be able to make this, am I? Because... Now, something I didn't really realise was that... Let's see, how can I... Go. There we go. Go, go. You've got, like, fighters. Yeah. Oh, God. And they, uh... Come on, come back. They sort of... They're, they're marines. They're like space marines. They fly off. Go, go, go. And, and hit asteroids. Intruder. And they, 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 you can see them at the top there. They're sort of fighting on the ship and killing the crew, which is pretty cool. So they do actually have a secondary weapon. It's not just turning the primary weapon. Come on, go, go. And oh, and that of course uses up some of my crew when they die. These guys are cool. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, I'm still surrounded by fuckloads of these guys, aren't I? So, am I actually going to be able to escape? I don't think so. I mean, look at that! This is going to take all day! I might be able to do this, but I'm going to save anyway. If I actually can manage to kill all these guys. This is going to be a hell of a lot of resources. Welcome back. All our coherent destructors are currently offline. But if you'd care to hold your present course and speed, one would be free to annihilate you shortly. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Uh, can I just leave? This has been useless. Bye. Human. Based upon our commitment to the Erkwan and your general disgusting demeanor, we've decided to blow you to bits. Didn't think that would work. Okay, let's, uh... Should we give Wifo a go? Why not? We can use his, uh... Bum torpedoes. Like that. Oh. Did that work? No. Hmm. Need to get closer. Oh, took some damage. I have a feeling I'm not going to make it out of this alive. Not this specific encounter, but it's the whole general thing. Oh, that, that worked pretty well. I'm going to just strafe him. And, uh, keep my distance enough. Yeah, that works. Oh, God, God. No, 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 no. Run away. Nasty things. Stick to my ship and slow me down. Those are the things that uh, those limpet things that that attacked uh, Tanaka's ship, aren't they? That's why he had to crawl home at snail's pace. Cowardice has saved you again, Fufo. Oh God! Be more cowardly. Don't be so brave. You'd have to be ashamed. Homing missiles are pretty much the only way I can hit anything in this game because the, the the aiming is so indiscreet. I mean, discreet. You know, um, like you turn in these sort of sixteenths or 
eighths. I'm not sure. I think it's sixteenths um, of, a, of a full circle. So it's quite difficult to get any fine control. Yeah, I've always got some justification for why I suck. It's very important to have excuses. And then that, very young at school. <laughs> I don't want to lose square five. It might be my only chance to. Oh, well, let's see how the, the mothership does against these. Yeah, so I mean, you can't aim between these things. And... Yeah. God, that's moving slow. Oh, it's because of the limpets. Okay, I'm just not going to be able to escape, and I'm going to have to just reload, aren't I? 